Welcome to Upset California. How's everybody? Sorry about, sorry about the sun. A lot, of, a lot of people with pale complexions. My apologies. But hopefully, you'll enjoy yourself today. Welcome. We have people from all over the world. I know a couple of people and from Ireland and Israel and Asia. So it's a, it's a great gathering of people who want to share and learn. And we appreciate your joining us. And we'll do the best we can to entertain you. Um, we also want feedback, so make sure we get plenty of that. What is this all about? We have six chapters from California have come together to put this on for you. And chapter leaders and planners all met. I am your chair, but I'm not alone because Haral, where's Haral? Stand up, give him a applause, a great leader back there. But it's obviously you, two people can't put on a conference, right? So we have to have lots of folks and we have a huge gathering of planners. You'll see them throughout the day. And these are just a few. We want to thank them for their efforts. It takes a lot to put this on. And there's even more. Yes, all these people we would meet with phone calls every other week. They became every week as we got closer to the event. Each one had a task or two or three or four that they had to do. There's a list of about 90 tasks just to put this thing on. So uh, it's a kind of like a crowdsource, but organized. And we want to thank our volunteers, all the folks that you see wearing this shirt. Bill, can you stand up for a second there? These are the shirts of our volunteers. Let's give them a hand. And there are even more. Yes, it takes a lot of people to put this on, but it's a labor of love. We all do it. No one's getting paid here, but we're learning and sharing, and that's what it's all about, giving back to the community. More volunteers, right? They're needed, because as you can see, there's a lot to do here. I want to thank our sponsors, our diamond sponsors, Net Sparker and Shift Left, our platinum sponsors, Checkmarks, Now Secure, and Signal Sciences. So let's give them a round of applause. Thank you. <laughs> you know, our sponsors are definitely part of our community. And I know that lots of discussions about, you know, how sponsors are and everything, but we need them, obviously, and uh, this event would be far different and less enjoyable without their help and they provide good solutions for us, so go check them out. These are our gold sponsors. They'll all have tables down there in the vendor expo, and they'll have plenty of opportunities today and tomorrow with breaks to go see them and uh, see what they've got to offer. Uh, not to mention a little bit of swag if you guys have some room in your luggage. Who's OWASP? We're a global community that drives the visibility and evolution in the safety and security of the world's software. Everyone is free to participate in OWASP, and all of our materials are available under a free and open software license. OWASP is a registered not-for-profit in the United States and Europe, so all your financial contributions are tax deductible. You know what that means? We'd love to have you join, right? Consider it. So what, what is OWASP? What's our purpose, all right? Be the thriving global community that drives visibility and evolution in the safety and security of the world's software. In a couple of words, we want all software written to be secure. Is that possible? Maybe, but we want to get as close to that as humanly possible. We want everyone here to engage with your teams at work. Developers, please talk to your security folks. Security folks, talk to your developers. And both of you guys somehow get meetings with the executive teams to drive standards, policy, and get some money for this, right? So we'll hear more. There's talks all about this throughout today and tomorrow. Um, and what are our core values in OWASP? It's open. Everything is transparent, including our finances and code. You can find everything online. Innovation. We encourage and support innovation and experiments for solutions to software security challenges. And it's global. We're an international organization. We have chapters all over the world. And we have representatives today from all different chapters. Um, integrity. This one is one of the core things that we love because it speaks to greatly of who we are, right? We have to have a high moral imperative, and we do it out of love and because we believe in it. There are, I think this is the correct number. It might be one or two different, because you know it's a dynamic, fluid world. But we're all over the world. But as you can see, United States and Europe have the majority, but we are growing. And one of the uh, passions of the board is to grow us in areas that are underrepresented. 
and that's something that we need to do. So if you happen to be from a country where there aren't a lot of chapters, the board is committed to help you reach out to us. Um, if you are not a board member, that's okay. You can help start one or find your local chapter and join up. So we have lots of things that we do, lots of people busy with projects. Our WASP Top 10 is the most famous, that's where we get our name. We have standards. The ASVS standard is becoming more and more popular. There are teaching environments. WebGoat, for example, is a deliberately insecure test bed that people use to test and learn about how to, to find insecure code, how to improve websites. Um, we have cheat sheets. An example is the CSRF. We have checklists. There's a mobile application checklist. Now again, what I have here is just the tip, very tip of the iceberg. There are 110 projects going on with, with people on teams from all over the world. And if you want to get your name out in the field, what better way to do that, right? Yes, we want you to join us. You've got a lot to offer. Everyone in this room, you're here because you're in the field. And you can be doing some great work to help share. Um, we, we have all of our projects available for anybody to use. So if you need to beef up your knowledge and experience and application security, where your go-to place. So please, get involved. Join a chapter, attend a meeting, give a talk. We all have something to say, right? Visit our project pages, and those change. They're very fluid because new projects are starting up, right? So you consider joining a project. We all need help. Or start your own, right? If you are an application developer, if you're a software architect, if you're an information security author, consider helping out. Give back to the community. Right? Conferences like this, speakers are taking their time to come see us. Why don't we do something also right? and build a better environment for everybody? We have a lot of supporters. We are recognized as the leader in application security information worldwide. These are some of the things that we are proud to put into our bag as our uh, resume continues to improve. And um, I'm proud, very proud, to share the OWASP Global Board position with a team that uh, I'm, I'm, we had our first annual meeting, I'm new to the board. Best group I think I've been around as, as a team. So I want to thank them and I want to introduce them and I want everyone to consider giving them a round of applause. We have worldwide representation and so I'd like to ask Martin Noblock and come on up Martin and Chen Shi Wang, come on up and Sharif Mansour and Owen Pendleberry, come on up. Richard Greenberg, who the hell? <laughs> How did you go? I don't know. And then Gary Robinson. And we also have Ofer Mayor from Israel. Yes, sir. Okay. So, Israel, Netherlands, Germany. Netherlands, Germany. America, London, London. Ireland. Ireland. Ireland, and I, well, once, <laughs> Northern Ireland. <laughs> Can, wait, oh, wait, wait, uh, Sharif, can you get between them, please? Oh, yeah, it's right on the London one. Anyway, let's give him a round of applause, a great group. Thank you, folks. They can find us and talk to us. Yes, if you want to find out more information about OWASP, you can ask volunteers, but here are the global board members, so they might be your first stop. So they'll be here all day, and partially tomorrow, some of them, they have to fly back to the various places. So uh, this is great because this is the first year we've had the whole board at AppSec California. We've had representation in the past, but, um, you know, and we promise to listen to you folks, so please, we have lists. Please join our lists. Give us some feedback, things that you like or th think that can be approved in OWASP. You all have stuff that you can help us with, whether you think it now or not. You will think of something and go, oh, well, let me just send an email. We're very open and receptive. So we'll do our best, but let's build a better community. So thanks, everyone. Thank you, Richard, for hosting us. My pleasure. We also have staff that help do some of the work. So we have to pay some people to do a lot of the things that OWASP prides ourselves on. Mike McCammon. Mike, you back here? I remember I saw you. All right, he's our new acting executive director. Welcome. 
Matt Tesaro had to leave, but he was here yesterday. He's the Director of Community and Operations. Dawn Aitken is unable to attend. Community Manager. Harold Blankenship, he's the Director of Projects. So he's someone that you probably will get to know and technology support. And then Kelly Santa Lucia, who helped us with all the vendors down there. So she's in the background doing all this work to help you know, pay for all this wonderful food and venue and all the things that you're enjoying today. We have contractors as well. We have Lisa. We have a company called Virtual Management, and Tom is here. Tom, thank you very much for your help. And we have a, a, someone who helps us with graphic designer, Hugo. With that said, I think it's time to welcome our diamond sponsor. Are they here? They, I saw them. Here, come on up. So that's why we're still here. So I want to welcome our, one of our diamond sponsors, Shift Left. We really appreciate you coming out and joining right. us. So thank you. All right. Um, good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm just going to give you a quick introduction of uh, what Shift Left is, and I have about five minutes to convince you uh, to see our talk later on, uh, which is about a vulnerability discovery tool. Uh, and I hope that uh, there are a lot of people in the room uh, for whom this, this kind of tool makes sense. Uh, so Shift Left is all about discovering vulnerabilities in code. Uh, and I guess for the audience here at AppSec, uh, I don't need to tell you why uh, that is something are uh, relevant to do, but uh, you know, when you look up from your uh, computer screen every now and then, you will see that actually now it's also in the news. So um, this uh, apparently uh, everybody has understood now that uh, data breaches and takeovers uh, are often uh, the result of vulnerabilities in code. And so finding those vulnerabilities, uh, eliminating them, or um, if we can't do any better, mitigating them at least, uh, is definitely uh, something worth doing. Uh, problem being, uh, and the problem that our company is focused on, there's just so much of this code. And if we look at uh, uh, modern software development uh, processes, there's actually a lot of this code uh, coming up, a lot of, a lot of code deployed uh, that is vulnerable uh, as we speak. And so uh, the approaches we have for vulnerability discovery simply don't scale today to this. Um, you hire a penetration tester, uh, they will uh, find some bugs. They might be relevant. They might not be relevant anymore because you've changed out the code while the person has been has been reviewing that. And so we have very few experts who can actually do that. And we focus on creating tooling and uh, approaches to make uh, to make the best out of those few experts um, that we can. Um, so automation here is key. Now, anybody who will tell you that uh, vulnerability discovery can be completely uh, automized uh, is a fraud, so we don't do that. Um, but uh, you can extract a lot of information automatically from code. And the main idea um, that we're working on is we're extracting all of these different uh, representations of code, and we're merging them in what we call a uh, code property graph. And that's essentially a, a, a data structure that gives you all sorts of information about the code down to the instruction level, uh, data flows, type hierarchies, call graphs. Uh, and based on that, calculates new information. Uh, and we take this thing and we kind of make it accessible, uh, giving you a, a, a search engine for code where you can define patterns to, uh, to look for and say, well, this is what vulnerable code typically looks for. Uh, here are my queries, and then you can run them on that graph. And so based on that, we have uh, three products. And I think the one that uh, for uh, AppSec uh, people here in the room is probably the most interesting one is Ocular, which really gives you a, a, a REPL, uh, meaning a, a shell that you can use to um, run your queries and explore the code uh, and find vulnerabilities. And this is what I'm going to be talking about uh, today uh, at, uh, let me see, uh, at 1.30. At 1:15 um, in the Garden Terrace room. Um, currently, the tool supports Java, C Sharp, and C++. And the C++ module that's actually going to be open source. So there is a version of this for C++ that's completely open source. But today, I'll demo uh, the uh, Java version for you, uh, where I'll show how we uncover uh, a bunch of previously unknown vulnerabilities using this tooling. And with that being said, uh, yeah, please enjoy the keynote. Come on up. We'd like to have our next diamond sponsor, NetSparker, say a few words, and then we'll get on with our keynote. So welcome and thank you, Joe. Uh, good morning. Uh, NetSparker is back for our second year at AppSec 
California. We're excited to be here. Uh, back as a diamond sponsor this year. So uh, short and sweet this morning, we're in booth 24 and 25. Um, we'd love for you to come by and visit with us. Take some time out of your day. I know you're gonna be busy. There's a lot of other vendors. We hope you come and stop by and see everyone. Uh, I will be doing a presentation today at 115, I believe in this room. I didn't see it on the schedule but it looks like it's this room. So at 1.15, we'll be talking about scaling web application security with NetSparker. We'll go through a short presentation, do questions, answers. I uh, may even dig into some of the other uh, aspects of the program even a little deeper if you want to and talk about that. So it'll be about 30 minutes, uh, short and sweet, but we'll get a good nice dive into how we look at and how we approach uh, scaling application security. Uh, Outside of that, I hope everybody has a good day and we'll get on to the keynote. After this will be a break and you can go down to the Vendor Expo, get some snacks, get some coffee, get some sun, and talk to vendors. Talk to you later, guys. Thanks. Thank you.